Good afternoon, and welcome to Wet Winnipeg. Now, I said pretty much that exact same thing about three hours ago, only I said good morning. And I didn't realize it, but when I pressed the little record button on my remote here, and never checked the monitor to see if the little red dot was on, the battery had run down so much in this thing that it wasn't, it wouldn't work on the camera anymore. So I wasn't doing nothing until probably about 20 minutes ago when I took the camera and went to the computer room and loaded the files in and uh, found out I didn't have my opening scene. So I had to redo it here. I've already been here and done quite a bit. So we're going to have a rollback. Normally we roll back to yesterday, but we're going to roll back to just about three hours ago, I guess. And, uh, yeah, uh, as far as uh, the, the sunrise this morning goes, well, it was, uh, at first, when I, I've been up actually since 5 o'clock. And uh, when I first got up, I thought, oh, it might clear up. But it just got worse and worse and worse. So, uh, what, su what sunrise there was, I'll, I'll tack it at the end of today's episode. It's not even a minute long. Uh, yeah. I won't be bike riding today, and not if it stays like this. You know, I'll have water thrown up my back from the back wheel, and probably somewhere else from the front wheel. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to be biking. This is probably going to be the first day since I started that I won't actually be able to get out, and unless it dries up. Uh, I know it, it did stop there around uh, mid-morning, and uh, I, there was actually kids outside playing. In fact, I think I talk about it while I'm working here. Uh, anyway, let's uh, roll back. Don't know if you can hear it, but it's raining outside pretty good right now. Okay, now, if we were to solder this edge right here, is it going to be possible to lean this up against the everything else later? Does it naturally want to fall that way? Not, not really. Seems to me that I kind of came up to that conclusion yesterday. Let's just see what would happen here. Well, it, it... No, I don't think that's the way it's supposed to go. I think that it's supposed to go in like this somehow. Yeah, I wonder if maybe that's the way you would solder it. See if I can just sort of hold this down a little bit here, carefully without bending anything. I have to get this twisted the right way around. I should maybe be using kind of like the helping hands sort of thing. Now, now something like that kind of works. Yeah, something like that kind of works. Now, naturally, it's not straight. But how would we then, let's, let's pretend that I have soldered this on, like this. How are we going to get this plastic part mounted down in here afterwards? I wonder, could it be maybe kind of wiggled up from the back and then forced in? <clears throat> now, there does appear to be... No, there isn't. I thought for a while there, I thought there was, but it was just a reflection. I, th I thought that there was sort of a, of a cross member running in the same orientation as this front plane is, uh, but it's not. It was just a reflection of the bottom of this. Um, 
I'm going to have to think about this for a little bit here. Okay, here's the latest. I'm going to use the holder downer here as a pointer. Now, um, you know, it, it could be this will be a little bit more understandable if it was standing up kind of in the right orientation here somehow. Um, put something like this so I can I don't know if this is going to work or not. Okay, yeah. Yeah, checking the monitor there we sort of can see what's going on. Okay, now you see this this brace right here that I'm that I'm just touching right now this cross member right here. Okay, if I was to bend it out just a little bit, make it kind of rounded, okay, you understand what I'm trying to say? Then it could go around the back right here. And then this, the top of this that I'm touching right now, comes almost exactly the, the right height for this. So I was thinking, what if I was to take, I won't do it right now because I don't have my really strong glasses on, but if I was to take and make a little a little notch right in the very top, that, that, this, that this cross brace will fit, sort of fit down into, and then this, this cross brace here goes around the back of this, and, and of course we'd have to CA, CA everything. Uh, it would have to be, everything would have to be put on after this thing was painted, was painted black. And I think that this, this platform thing here, do we want to have it painted black as well? Or could it be maybe painted, uh, I do believe this is supposed to represent a platform, but I'm not sure. Um, you know, it could be, because it wouldn't be an antenna array facing straight up. It wouldn't be horizontal like this. Um, it do, it doesn't really matter. It could be painted the the number seventy seven like all the other platform things are. Um, that's my thinking at this moment. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm just going to take a, a small dowel, and we'll we'll lay this down very carefully like this and then we'll we'll stick stick a dowel in underneath there and just push down on it and I think it, it should round that out. I'll put the macro lens on so you can see better what I'm doing. Okay, the rain has stopped. And a moment ago I heard kids out there. So I can quite well imagine that their mothers are going to be quite pleased when they come back into the house all wet and muddy. Okay. Now if I can just press this down. Can you still see it there? Yeah, you can see it. Just sort of round this just a little bit here. Okay, is that rounded? Let me pull this out of the way. Not very much. Not very much. Maybe I should use a smaller dowel. Maybe I should have something softer to be pushing down into, like a piece of rubber or something. Okay, what this is is that uh, silicone matting that I was using for soldering. Somehow it just doesn't look in focus anymore. I'm going to just have to check that out just a moment here. Okay, it was in focus. I don't know uh, why it looked kind of blurry when I looked at the monitor. Alright, so let me get that rid of the edge there. Now, it's kind of hard on my fingers, so I'm going to just use my the end of my pliers here and I can sort of just press down just a little bit here. Get the angle just right here so it doesn't slip off. Oops, I'm gonna end up breaking that yet. Okay. Mm 
Okay. Yeah, I think we kind of got it rounded, didn't we? Yeah. Maybe it could have gone just a little bit more my way. Let's have a little look now. That's that's pretty good. I think that's going to make the difference. Okay. Now, this piece that we almost broke here. Try and get a little notch in the top here. Preferably in the right direction. Mind you, this, this plastic thing is going to have to come out anyway for, uh, for when we uh, want to paint it. There. I'll find something else to mount it in. And, and you know, being as it's perfectly cylindrical... Oh no, it isn't. It, well, it is, but I mean, it's got to go a particular way because this is keyed. Maybe I should maybe I should have left that in there. But then I risk I risk uh, uh, bending this part here. Can't pick it up. Boy, it's busy outside today. Don't people go to work? Well, I'm not. They're probably all retired. I don't think so. Okay. No. I'm going to have to recompose, obviously, but the idea will be to try and get the blade right in the dead center of that. I'm going to have to recompose myself here. That was an Amazon truck and he didn't have anything for me. Okay, um... You know, I, I was just realizing that the that the end of this stick, sticks out the bottom there. So that means that when I push this down into something hard, um, like even even this tabletop is is yeah I'm not going to bend this platform, so that's good. Okay, let's uh, now let's recompose. Okay, I'm focused right on the very top of this of this uh, whatever it is, right there. And uh, my plan is to take my hobby knife here, and this does not have a new blade. So maybe I should have put in a new blade. I'm just going to have to try, try and get right over top of it here now. Get this adjusted right on the center. Now I don't want to press so hard that what's going to happen is I'm going to accidentally split it. All I want to do is just make a little groove right in the top that that photo etch Okay, did I do anything? Let me check the monitor. Well, there, there is something there. I know, if, you know, the best would be if I was to take my little razor saw, you know, and, and saw it. But I don't think I can be that delicate. Well, I think we got a little bit of a groove in there. I think that when we try to put this part in here. Let's just see if I can do it while we're on camera here. Because right now everything's basically fo in focus, isn't it? Okay, now this is going to go around the outside. Maybe I'm going to have to turn it just so that you can see it a little bit better now. Yeah, the idea is that, yeah, that, that should actually work. Now, it's going to want to swing away, but I can imagine that the part that my finger's holding right now, or was, is going to, uh, if that was CA glued in place. Okay, I think you see what I'm trying to do here. Okay, I think that's going to work. Let's, let's just leave all of this now and get our parts painted. Yesterday I had mentioned that I hadn't seen the bird coming all day long the day before. Well, last night I checked the uh, surveillance system again and later in the afternoon our bird did show up. And uh, yeah, it landed on the perch and it stuck its beak in the, in the, in the hole, but it didn't actually try and struggle in. Um, and what, what you see it doing here, it pretty much did 
I believe four times over a period of about four minutes. Uh, other than that, there was no activity on the perch except for the odd insect triggering my uh, uh, sensor, I guess you might call it. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't know. I don't want to be messing around with the uh, birdhouse and, and find out there's eggs in there and, you know, I've disturbed everything. But uh, yeah, is, is, the, uh, is the bird, you know, uh, handing insects or, or whatever to somebody on the inside that can't get out? I don't know. Uh, I think I'm going to leave well enough alone for a while. <laughs> I, I just don't know what to do about it. You know, as my grandfather used to say, when in doubt, do nothing. <laughs> Okay, a little bit of time has passed here. I've got everything edited out that you saw so far. And while I was editing that out, I was thinking about this little part here that I made the little tiny slit in, and I was thinking, I wonder if, if there was a way that I could hold this securely and, and very carefully uh, saw uh, uh, you know a groove in there not that I need to probably what we got is good enough but I'm just curious to know can I actually do it um, but you know I don't know if you can see it or not but the Sun is shining outside and the streets are dry in fact I uh, a moment ago I turned on my AC because uh, I wanted to get rid of the humidity that, that uh, drifted into the house this morning um, you know, I'm, I'm going to call her quits here for today. I know the last couple of episodes have been kind of short. In fact, I think one of the viewers actually commented to that effect. Uh, but that's the way it goes. Uh, some, some days they're long, some days they're short. Sometimes we get a lot of stuff done and make a lot of progress, and then other times we don't. Now, I think we did make progress today. And not much progress, but we did make progress here. And... Uh, I don't know if I'll work on this this evening. If, if I do, I'll video it, and it'll be tomorrow's rollback, but, uh, but probably not. Uh, anyway, um, thanks for watching, everybody, and all being well. well oh, uh, the sunrise is, is at the end of this. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>